If you'd like to exchange your Magic Online cards for event tickets while logged in on Magic Online, you can do so by trading MTGO Academy's official bot, Academy Bybot. You can find it in the Magic Online trading area or add it to your buddy list. Hey everybody, it's Chris, MTGO's Rex Start, and um, we're here playing the uh, Cheerios deck. My opponent kept on seven, I'm going to keep mine and hope for no islands <laughs> or thought seas. <laughs> for an catacombs, underground sea, all of those things look bad. <laughs> Death Rite Shaman. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Well, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four guys to work with, and I have two glimpses. I'm going to play the Savannah, and then the Lotus Petal. And see what happens here. It's going to daze. Okay. It forced me to, I kind of pot, oh, okay, that's fine. So I'll just have to burn the petal on the other glimpse. Or I could cast, or I could go ahead and pay for it and hope that um, with this lotus petal and then hope that I get to cast it, uh, cast the other one with another. That seems better. Okay. All right. So maybe I get another one. All right. There's a lotus petal. Green glimpse of nature. All right, we're going to do these one at a time in case, because um, I do have the one main deck, Noxious Revival, so I need to at least consider that. Uh, there's a Grape Shot. The taxi and Probe. Personal Tutor. And taxi and Probe him. We see him to Turok at Jace. Wasteland. That could be giving me some trouble. Okay. We're at storm count um, 12, it looks like. And we're still needing to get to 2 mana here for the grape shot. So we have two lotus petals left. Um, okay, so I can get one of the Lotus Petals back with a Noxious Revival now. How many of them am I down to? Three creatures, so... Um, let's see, what are we at? Storm count 14. Let's see. I don't have to do that until the end. Here, let's go ahead and keep doing this. I have more free creatures left here. Oh, there's an Elvish Spirit Guide. Okay, I'm a Storm Count 16. Okay, there's storm count 18, and I will get back the lotus petal. And cast lotus petal, exile that for green, cast that for red, grape shot. All right. So, against counter magic guy, Santa the swarms come in. Not gonna want those. 
um, and let's see, need to cut two more here. Um, kind of want, hmm, kind of want that Noxious Revival, but I'm not sure if I can afford to keep that in. Um, out of this Beastmaster Ascension. Like that's the other plan here, but um, that's never going to get through. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. That might be okay. I think if I'm going to run those, though, I think I... I don't know. Let's, let's get rid of Let's cut that. And... Then let's cut, um, ugh, this is so thin. <laughs> um, I guess I have to cut that. Well, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need that if I'm going down all the way down to one grape shot here because he has Cabal Therapy um, or some kind of discard. So I can't afford to have all that hit. And he has hymns actually makes me think I want more of those, honestly. I'm going to just play the three Santed Swarms. Um, eh, I don't know. I think, yeah, okay. Let's try that. Okay. Not gonna mull. So I suppose he'll thought sees me would be his best play. We could take the personal tutor. Yep. Okay. Don't think there's really any reason to play the land out um, in case it would get wasted. So I'm just going to hold on to all this for the moment. Um, <laughs> in a pinch, I have a uh, I have a grape shot for one, two, three, four, five, just in hand. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six points. <laughs> um, you know. I don't know what I would do with that, mind you, but I have it. Okay, he's going to him me, and he bends the Lotus Petal, which would have been nice, and one of those guys. Okay. And we're just waiting. So, um, <clears throat> have plenty of time here, but, uh, yeah, um, let me know in the comments, um, afterwards what you think, um, about the deck, because, uh, while I think that it's, um, I think that it's, it's interesting to see, um, and when you see it at the table somewhere in, in paper, you're like, wow, look at that, you know, um, like the first time you see it, but, um, it, it's not it doesn't provide the sort of the depth of strategic uh, interaction uh, that uh, that really would justify um, you know extended that's why I'm only posting a few videos this time um, let's see still on the doing nothing plan at the moment it looks like <laughs> yeah um, so anyways I just wanted to post enough for you guys to be able to see what this looked like I think, and I'll probably remark on this a little bit that in my um, in the article, but I think that there are probably a lot of things that you could do differently with this list. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, let's see. I guess I'll play a Memnite just so I don't lose it. 
So I'm giving him fuel here to to gain some life with Death Rite Shaman, but I don't. Okay, he's got my personal tutor now. All right, and he's flipped the Delver. But it, it seems like the list is this kind of deck probably should have a very very tight list like um, like Belcher does and the reason Belcher does is because it's been very highly refined over the years um, and uh, and if this deck is just a worse Belcher in some respects or a worse Elves depending on how you look at it um, then you don't really um, get the people you know working on it refining the deck um, that you would if it was um, like Belcher is so that that kind of is a problem um, that, that the spots are so tight you just think well I need more of this more of this yeah I kind of figured he was going to do that um, but um, there's got to be an optimal configuration of all these things, but nobody's really worked it out yet to what it would be. And if if the deck's just a worse version of, you know, um, of, of a better combo deck, then there's no incentive to do that. So, um, let's see. I guess I'll play something here. Just so I don't lose it. Play the Ornithopter. And block his Delver. All right. So just staying alive to the point where maybe I will draw something. Kobolds of Care Keep is not it, unfortunately. <laughs> and he should have it here. Um, nope, he didn't. He's, he could have got me to five, other by exiling that thought sees, and then to two, and then uh, there wouldn't have had enough. But, that guy is going to him me. He gets the land. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. All right, we're going to go ahead and scoop. All right, going to game three. So, let's see really want to see this is the dilemma here because so you need so much of this gas that your spots are just so limited and you feel like oh I want these anti swarms but I also want these noxious revivals there's just not enough room in the deck um, what one of the guys had done was gone up to like three or four of these Beastmaster ascensions post board um, and just run these things out um, but this guy uh, is gonna have um, abrupt decays uh, presumably so I of course I don't know if you would keep them in mind you um, but that's one way that you could go um, that way just kind of eliminate the whole combo aspect of it and just go okay I'm swing with some ornithopters <laughs> do what you're gonna do you know um, but then of course I mean this is gonna get countered so um, yeah I don't know I really wish that I had room for one more of these noxious revivals but I think that I need those Santid swarms in there um, and if I cut any of this gas, that's just so bad. Um, I guess I can try. Uh, well, now it's gonna I could cut a mana source, maybe. Cut one of these lands, or cut a spirit guide. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's cut a spirit guide and do this. Right. Okay, hand has nothing. Hand has 
nothing again. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll keep that. Days, Tarmogoyf. Okay. So we've got a Days. A wasteland. Let's go ahead and cast the Lotus Petal. <clears throat> and let's wait. Do I want to wait till next turn? Um, because I can cast Glimpse through that. So I could wait until next turn. Of course, he could daze the probe. There's really no reason, I guess, not to go ahead and do it now. Okay. Okay. Wasteland, but I can go ahead and run this out. He's not going to be able to. I don't have to. Alright. Can't hit me yet. Obviously, not going to fetch. Alright. His keep there was a little weak sauce, but thankfully for him, I had nothing. So. the misty but I'm not going to fetch anything yet so I basically I need to draw personal tutor or a glimpse see I and and again when you're talking about how cramped the deck list is it's like you know I'm at four glimpse and two personal tutor like you could easily like oh god man you're killing me um but you could easily justify playing um... okay well there's a personal tutor but of course we're going to get waste landed but uh, I'm going to have to do it and I've got two spirit guides so um, but you could easily justify playing like four personal tutors because I mean you can't win without a glimpse right <laughs> but you know if you go up to that you're just running you have no room for like anything else um, or you're you're putting your gas down so low um, I'm going to hope he hasn't drawn any additional counter magic since then. He didn't have any earlier, and he hasn't cast a cantrip. Um, I figured he would waste here. Um, now the question here is, do I even bother trying to go for this? Because um, I have, I don't have any mana. Um, but I know right now he doesn't... I mean, what's, like, the best-case scenario here? Like, one of these guys draws me... I mean, like, that I just keep going on him. But, I mean, I'm going to have to draw into another guy. Because I, I get one super superfluous card, because I only have two here. It's so like, one of these can blank. And that blank would basically have to be another spirit. Now, I mean, I, I don't think it... I don't think I go... I, I think I have to wait, as crappy as that is. Of course, now he knows I have it, so if he drew a thought sees. But again, he hasn't cantripped or anything. Okay, he's got Tarmogoyf. That's fine. Shield Sphere. Okay, now I've got three. So I could go. Um, it's like every turn I wait here, I'm pushing it. Knowing when to go for it is is really hard. I'm not a combo player. Um, I'm sure you can tell, right? Um, let's see. So, because because basically each of these things will replace itself, but I need to draw some number of things that aren't these. Um, and those number of things are the ones that need to keep me going. And that would ideally end up needing to be probably another glimpse, um, and then a mana source. Um, so that leaves me very shy here but um, since he's tapped out 
I, don't know, I could wait one more turn and see what I get. Um, that's bad if he draw. Let's just go for it here. Yeah, let's cast it. Hope he hasn't drawn. Oh, he drew a forest in the meantime. So he just natural the forest there because he he didn't cast any cantrips. Um, I guess he drew a cantrip and then was just holding that in his hand. So. Anyways, that's unfortunate, but um, yeah, nothing you can do about that. Yeah, I, I mean, I kept there very. Um, I, I don't know why he kept abrupt decay in the deck at all. Um, I have one more turn here potentially, um, and then he kept on a daze, which is maybe a little dicey, but. Um, the days itself wasn't really going to do much, but yeah, now I've lost all the uh, fuel I would need, and I'm down to one. <laughs> so that's gonna that's gonna do it here. Um, so I had a shot if he didn't have a um, really good draw there, but uh, um, off of no cantrips. But anyways, um, so that does it for the deck, and I'll have some remarks in the um, uh, about uh, what this kind of the online metagame and, and everything about trying to play a deck like this uh, in the article. But uh, thanks for joining me for the video, Susan.